Hey, thanks for clicking and dragging yourself all the way to daily strength. Today we want to talk about, hey, don't just celebrate, imitate. Hi, this is Joe Stoll, and our text, Ephesians 5.1. Be imitators of God, therefore, as dearly beloved children. I can still remember my dad standing there, coat on, hat in hand, on Christmas afternoon, asking me, Little Joe, do you want to come with me? His question really made me uncomfortable, because I knew I should say yes, but being deep into playing with my Christmas presents, going with him was not my idea of a great way to spend Christmas afternoon. My idea of Christmas was a time to celebrate Christ's birth by giving and getting gifts, eating some of Mom's all-time best cooking, and lots of playtime with my new toys. My dad liked all of that kind of stuff, too. But every year, he had something else in mind. He knew that Christmas was more than a celebration of Christ's birth. For him, the spirit of Christmas had a deeper meaning. He knew that the highest form of honoring Jesus is more than celebration, it's imitation. In fact, seeing Christmas as merely celebration can have a pretty selfish kind of bent to it. It can end up being primarily about days off from work, parties, family, friends, games, football for sure, gifts, and lots of great food. But imitation, not celebration, pays a higher compliment to the one whose life we celebrate. For Jesus, Christmas was not warm, convenient, or comfortable. In our modern-day materialized blur of Christmas, we must keep reminding ourselves that the birth of Jesus was put into motion by the central act of God's redemptive plan, and it came at a cost. Not only did Jesus temporarily relinquish the glorious privileges of heaven, he ultimately gave his life on a blood-stained cross where his sinless body bore the weight of my sin, and yours too. Jesus presented our world with a costly, redemptive gift which is precisely why my dad was on his way out the front door. His mission? To visit an elderly widow who lived down the street. With no children and no family, she spent every holiday alone in her big house. And every Christmas, my dad, in the midst of celebration, gave the gift of himself, sharing a few moments of companionship to help ease her lonely heart. I gotta tell you, I learned a valuable lesson from my dad. Around all of our lives, there are people who may not need much of this world's goods, but who long for a touch from heaven through some caring, even sacrificial act of love on their behalf. So I should ask you, who are the people you could call on Christmas Day? Check your party list. Is there someone who will go nowhere if not invited by you? Indelibly etched on my memory, are those two or three times when I stood up from my toys, grabbed my coat, put my hand in Dad's, and walked down the street to spend an hour imitating Christ's gift of himself. So this year, (laughs) let's do more than celebrate Christ. Let's honor him by imitating the grace of his selfless and sacrificial love for us.